transition to flat maps. Description of materials. Continent globe. Puzzle map of the world. Saucer, plasticine and table knife. The objectives of the exercise are 1. To transit the child from the continent globe to the puzzle map of the world. 2. To show the child that the map is a visual representation of the earth on a flat surface. 3. To help the child detect differences and similarities between the continent globe and the puzzle map. Invite the child to the shelf and introduce the material. Show the child how to carry the puzzle map with both hands on each side. Carry the continent globe on the palm of the dominant hand and balance with the left. The directress points to each of the continents and shows the child the corresponding one on the puzzle map of the world. When she gets to the continent of Antarctica, she asks the child what she observes. The child says there are two. Now, the directress will explain to the child the earth is a sphere, but it has to be divided into two hemispheres to be able to be in a map form. So we're going to pretend that the plasticine is the earth and I am going to cut it into two hemispheres, two halves of plasticine. Flatten it out to look like the puzzle map of the world. The directress points out to the child that the shape is not a perfect one. The directress shows the child again that the flat map is like the globe because it gives us a flat picture of the earth. Thanks for watching.